I feel that business leaders these days are becoming much more attuned to how important it is to, to recognise the health and well-being and happiness of, of their staff. And people are realising that in order to create a culture where people feel rewarded, respected and generally happy, will create, in turn, a more productive and effective workforce. Rather than trying to get the productivity as the main driver, it's like stop seeing the tail wagging the dog and, and see it the other way around. I think business leaders are very much coming around to the idea of the importance of design, but also a, a design approach, so really thinking about what it is that their staff need. I think there's been a big change as well in the type of business leaders, so the members of the exec team that are involved in sort of real estate and um, office fit-out projects. Over time we've seen definitely a change away from it being very much just a property-led piece to being a real people-led piece. So often on a team we'll be working really closely with you know, the people team, the HR team, and they're really driving the project, seeing the value that space has on people. I do believe great leaders can understand the importance of interior design in their spaces, and I don't think they can afford not to because it's such a, an important factor for employers and employees to have within their workplace because it's an additional factor when considering or working somewhere. Yeah, there's so much choice in the industry and in the workplace that it's imperative that people can you know, have, have that as an option to consider. It's the, they're remiss if they don't really consider that because I think they'll lose out on great talent.